Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Place Get Games video. And today it's that wonderful time of the week we all love and know. It's Pokey Post. And hopefully one of those should be in the right direction now. <laughs> oh, the letters are still the wrong way backwards. Because <laughs> of the selfie mode. Yeah, Pokey Post number 11. Very hyped. And we've also got um, some bonus booster packs of Hidden Fates to open right at the end. So make sure you stick for that. And uh, yeah, let's jump straight into the post. So, once again, here is our post for the week. It's not as stacked as last week, but there's still quite a lot of amazing things in here. And at the end of the video, we're going to be doing a little bonus for you guys. We're going to be opening two sealed packs of Hidden Fates. We just got the tin reprinting. Make sure you check out the other, the latest video on my channel. We want to see me open three of the brand new Hidden Fates reprint tins. Very excited about those. And as usual, um, we've got some early posts so this one just randomly arrived um i don't know why i opened it early but uh, there's a beautiful neo 2 houndor in very nice condition you can see a nice little um swirl in the top right hand corner there so very very strong start to this week's pokey post so we're going to go through this i've honestly it's been a, it's been quite an interesting week um i've been sort of focusing a lot on the hidden fate stuff and other various um, activities and sort of adventures so i haven't had as much time to sort of think about purchases for like psa grading and stuff but wow what a first parcel to open so we got here a shining rayquaza so as you know shining legends has um gotten a lot more harder to find nowadays and a psa 10 of this is worth at least 110 120 pounds i think a bit more at the moment actually unfortunately the condition on this one it's slight it got some slight edge wear on the corners i don't know if you can spot it on my on my little phone but uh good chance at a psa 10 it's quite it's nicely it's nicely centered as well so very happy very happy with that and also in this pass we've got a a lowland goal honestly i didn't want to buy this but it was a rainbow rare and it cost me like four quid so i thought why not um I'll probably get all of the rainbow rares graded at some point this one's a bit more interesting i love this japanese marsh shadow look at it the, from their sort of version of burning shadows as you can see in the background there it's got like this awesome like sort of psychedelic kind of like wallpaper effect going on very nice very happy with that and the coup de gras is this beautiful japanese delta species vaporium which the lovely man has put in a i think they're a man lovely man has put in a card saver which is the best which is how you prepare cards for psa you put them in soft sleeve and um, you can put a pull tab on them but you don't need to and in the card saver so that way they can get them out when they're grading them easier so you can see a beautiful um i believe this is the japanese equivalent of delta species it's got like the water and metal typing going on there so beautiful vaporia i love the um sort of like the water effect in the bottom there and that bottom right of vaporia is really cool and this is in pretty nice condition i hope you're gonna hope for a 10 for this one psa 10 very 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 excited we haven't had any PSA return videos for a while, but some, hopefully there might be a smaller one later in the month or early next month. Obviously, they're very, very busy at the moment. So there's a few letters I'm going to put to the side because we're going to open them all at the end. Um, for Someone sent me some cards to open on camera. So we've got another, a nice little um, hard envelope here. Best way to say it, send cards, hard envelope, top loader. Perfect. Thank you very much to that person. And we've got here a, a wishy-washy. What's inside here? I hope they haven't put too many cards inside one. That's not too bad. I can handle three. And uh, it's just that there's a, for some reason, there's like a Japanese or a Korean energy card. Oh, so it's, it's Korean, guys, because fun way you can tell is that um, for Japanese energy cards, uh, here's one, Japanese energy cards, you can see here that they look normal from the front. Well, obviously, the board is different, but Korean, and I believe like Malaysian and all the new sort of languages, Thailand, all the new languages that have just come out, they still use our classic um, Wizards of the Coast sort of like 1995, 1999 Pokemon backs. Whereas the Japanese would be the only, I think it's the only language that used these. I'm not sure about the Chinese cards. I'm not even sure we've had any Chinese cards recently. But um, yeah, I thought like, let's get scoop up nets while still £9 each. They're going to be using so many decks in the future. So very happy to pick up those flexi nets, net, nets of flexi. And uh, yeah, very hyped about the um, Hidden Fates tin reprints. Unfortunately, they all sold out really quick, so we don't have any more to sell. But Champions Paths arriving next week, guys. Make sure you, um, if you want to get any double V boxes or pin badge collection boxes for next week, make sure you check out my website and um, get yourself some nice Champions Path goodies. So this guy is like taped. So it was in here, and he like he he's taped it with like hazard tape. Do not cross dangerous Pokemon inside. <laughs> Let's see um, what's inside here. So we can clearly see that there's no cards right at the top there. So we're safe to cut, 
cut at the top and let's see what's what emerges from this from this prison of um, cardboard so uh, I don't even know what's in here to be honest is there anything else taped in there no no that's all good so what's what do we have here so the, I don't think the muck's the reason that this this thing's in it maybe these oh these must be just freebies okay so this lovely man sent us all these nice freebies I think it also helps to keep the Charizard safe as well which is nice but once again guys here is another beautiful Charizard V Max from Darkness of Blaze. These are slowly so if you want to check out the I've got a profit or loss video for Darkness of Blaze. We kind of talk about the cost of the card. And basically short long story short, I think that in the long run, there's no way this price the card the price on this can drop too severely because there's not much availability to Charizard V Max and they're quite easy to get as a PSA 10. This one should grade quite nicely. It seems to be in really nice condition. And uh yeah. They're about 75, they're down to about 75 pounds. I think that's like 100 US dollars, I'm not sure, but they're, they're quite, they've dropped a little bit, but they're not, they're definitely not going like anywhere substantially down anytime soon. So very happy to keep acquiring those Charizard V Maxes whilst, whilst I can. So, ah, so there's a nice thank you message from this person. Uh, I'm not sure what's in here, and I'm, again, I'm kind of worried about cutting into the cards, but. It looks like an eBay parcel, so it can't be overly like an eBay U domestic parcel. I don't generally order high value things from eBay. Ah, it's another scoop up. So like like a couple of weeks back, we always had the memes of like how many scoop up nets will Stephen get this week? So they like, just kept receiving like the regular arts and the scoop up nets over and over and over again. Whereas now, like it might just be gold. I think I might have ordered three gold nets because I already had one already. There might be one more in here because the prize is achieved, and I might have just be a bit click happy because I didn't want to miss out, but. Yes. Oh, so we got here. So we can see some fire here. There's lots more Charizards. It wouldn't be a pokey post, guys, if we didn't get some. Um, if we didn't get some Darkness of Blaze regular art Charizards, because again, price for availability still so available at the moment, and God no God knows like how quickly PSA tens will sell when we actually get a, get some PSA cards back. Fortunately, um, so as you can see there, it's just Charizard Vs. We've seen a lot of those already, so we're just going to show you those and put this back. Here because there's more exciting things in the rest of the package. So we got a nice bird trio. So this is very common from the Hidden Fates tins. So they're very quite they're quite easy to pull. They're still about fifty to sixty pounds as a PSA ten guy. So it's definitely still worth getting them graded if you're getting a whole bunch of cards like sent off to PSA PSA at once. I highly I highly think so. I highly think that's that's just my my opinion. That's my opinion. But I'm happy to see this though. So these are also super underrated. The um, oh, there's a Milotic in here as well. I'm going to try and take try and take these out because they just because we've seen so many Charizards on this channel before, but we don't often get to see like look at like Mewtwo's and other Pokemon. So right, so we got here the Full Art Mew and Mewtwo from Unified Minds. Beautiful card. The, these are not e overly easy to grade. Sometimes they have centering issues, but the condition on this one is I must say is abs looks absolutely lovely. I can't see. Anything obviously wrong with it from a glance? It might be slightly off centered, but not enough that they'd knock it down, I think. So, really good chances of PSA 10 for the Mew and Mewtwo. Beautiful, beautiful card. In fact, I love it. I love the beauty. I love this card so much. I'm going to take a few screenshots. So, yeah. Sometimes I, I'm more like hyped to do better thumbnails, and sometimes they're a bit lazier. So, um, we'll add we'll add this to the wall of. I think this Mewtwo deserves a place in the wall of honor next to Charizard. Well, it would deserve a place if I could actually get them to stand properly on these gravity stands. The problem is with these little dinner plate stands; they don't they don't lock in place. You have to. Um... There we go. That'll do for now. And all it's just getting is a massive glare from my camera. Perfect. That looks better. So yeah, the problem with those dinner plate stands; they don't lock in place. They fall over very easily. And uh, we've also got another lovely Milotic V. So these are also quite pricey. Unfortunately, centering's not amazing on this one. These have jumped up to like fifteen pounds, um, but fortunately, still in very nice condition. Milotics, I wouldn't rank Milotic in the top twenty, but it has quite a few fans. Like it's a popular Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, and this artwork is beautiful. I love that. You can just see like the green background in there, and like the. I love that with the full arts. They're not like you see like the Mewtwo in the background there. They're not all just doing like one color. Like that's just pink on pink on purple on pink. Whereas here you've got like such strong like red on green. It's really nice card i'm very happy to see what they're doing with the full arts i think my favorite one so far has to be the full art dragapult maybe maybe the um maybe the sabler so eevee on the ball yes 
for those that don't know, um, the if not UK as a whole, specifically England, which is quite a rarity for Pokemon. Normally, like the UK gets treated as the same way when it comes to distributions, but because the Football Association of England, so you know the FA as it's as it's known for short, the one of the oldest football associations in the world, have done the promotion with. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why Tate should bloody Tate the. I might. I might get these ones great. I hate taping stuff to cardboard. It's not good. But um, yeah, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna I'm take the other. There's two more there, but um, like so. For example, Eevee on the ball. Like you can see in this on the stamp there, you can just about make out the FA logo, the Free Lions logo. It's very very small. I think that's like football for all or something. I'm not sure, but these were only distributed at local game stores called Game. Um, I say local game stores. They're a chain. There's about 190 of them in the in England, and roughly the estimated distribution of these promos will be somewhere around the 30,000 mark, which is quite low for an English language promo card. So people are. I'm, I'm put a couple away. I haven't really sort of jumped the gun on these yet because I can't really afford to invest in too many EVs at the moment. But I put a few of these back, and I think they're definitely going to be worth more than the 12 13 pounds they are at the moment very happy to pick up those the other day so we've got here an international delivery so it might just be some cards from card market no it's something a lot better than that oh this is this is some this is some really nice stuff here. so this is our lovely man from belgium i keep forgetting his name you know you are who you are you're a lovely man you keep sending me you keep doing like flash sales and special deals on um sort of older or rarer japanese hollows and there's some really nice stuff do you know i was saying like the earlier that it wasn't going to be a very stacked pokey post but i think the quality makes up for the quantity of last week because last week was just half bloody salamancers and um half salamancers and just like playable stuff there wasn't out, like as much excitement in the terms of like you know interesting new things or like gradable cards last week so i'm just trying to very carefully free these guys from their, from their prison and then we'll take a look He's very tightly squeezed a lot of these cards in these top layers. So I need to be very careful with the ex extraction process here. Right. Cool. Done. So we got here a nice Kyoga EX. Is that a non-holo? It is a non-holo, but it's a glossy non-holo. I didn't even realise they had non-holos of EXs. It's pretty cool. Nice Kyoga EX. I think that's like their equivalent of... Oh, it's a, it's a, wow, it's a... That might be their first Diamond and Pearl promo, actually. It looks, it says ADV01. Nice jolty on EX. The English versions of these cards are just so expensive now, so Japanese is still a very affordable option for a lot of people. You still get the same artwork, and some people even prefer like the, the borders and the, you know, the higher quality. It's got this got one's got a bit of edge wear, but it should hope it might still get a nine of all lucky. And beautiful Vaporeon EX to follow up with the Evolution Train. Let's take a closer look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is a lot better condition than the, um, uh, let's say a lot better. It's, it's got some slight edge wear at the bottom, like on the, right at the bottom there, but that should be nice. Another nice card to get graded. You've seen one of these before. This is the um, Vending Series Eevee from 90, very early, like 1998 or something. So back in the day, people used to get uh, sheets. You'd get like a sheet of like three or four cards and you'd just peel them off. And this is one of the Eevees um, that you would peel off the sheet. And uh, it's a unique artwork. It's Mitsuhiro Arita. So definitely, I've got already a couple of these. I'm going to definitely get these graded regardless because I think they're going to be always always popular. I think I should still get a PSA 8, hopefully. And last but not least, it's the equivalent of our Secret Wonders Charizard. I don't try and ask me for the sets. I'm very bad with knowing like the sets. This might even be a promo, I think, like 006. I'm not sure. But yeah, Charizard. Um, I think that's like a faint scratch on the hollow there. Well, it's not faint, it's quite obvious, but other than that, it's in quite nice condition, so maybe we'll get like a PSA 8 for this Charizard. Beautiful Charizard. Thank you so much to the lovely Belgian man for those. So it turns out, this weekend is, is going quite, um, is going quite substantially a good length, so I didn't have to worry too much. And also, we still got those Hidden Fates packs to open later, so I need to, I need to start motoring my way through these. Of course, this person put tape on the sleeve, so be extra careful. And you can probably tell it's a it's a it's a um, card market order because they always like to use um, lands to keep them safe. We've got yeah some more nice Inteleon V Maxes for decks and stuff. And um, we built the Inteleon V Max deck the other day, but yeah, I was very happy to see that. Um, okay, so that's something that needs to be opened later, part of the last three. Some cards from my friend that he's ordered to me to open on camera. 
and yep 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 what do we have here oh very happy to see these um so these are thank you to gamers paradise in the netherlands for this one make sure you check them out if you are if you're in the netherlands or you want to find look off their ebay store unfortunately it looks like they've packaged all of the promos inside one sleeve without any extra prote protection for some reason they, they thought it'd be safe to put the business card inside the top loader i don't i just so silly how do people do these things? And they've shoved three of these together in the same pack. Oh no. Let's just hope they're in good condition. The beautiful full art Pikachu promos. Um there's some slight scratching and this one's got a this one's got like a small crease in the top corner. That's really annoying. I hope it's not from the packaging. I suspect it might be, but yeah, you need to be really careful when you're packaging things, guys. Don't try and cut corners. Make sure your cards arrive safe. Thankfully, this one seems to be okay. And um this one also, there's a slight nick at the bottom, but I don't know whether that's from the packaging or not. Yeah, only to, only one of those is gradable. Sad times. So don't try. If you're ordering from Card Market, please make sure you tell them to ship properly. <laughs> Message your sellers. Don't just don't just expect them they're going to ship stuff properly. Oh, I don't even they thought it just like just put the business card inside the top loader when there was very little space for the free cards in the first place. <laughs> just some people, honestly. Oh, this makes up for it there. Lovely Typhlosion, Japanese Typhlosion 17 or T17 for short. Very popular artwork. This very got a lot popular recently from the um, SM Pratt and like the lack of availability for the English one and the heart of the hardness to grade. And people just like this artwork as well. And unfortunately, it's got it's not the corners and the edges aren't amazing, so it might be like a seven, but it's a T17. It will still definitely be popular and we'll definitely be able to get some good grades from get a good grade for it, hopefully. Um, that's one of mine to open. So they've used lots of tape on this one. What's going to be in this envelope, I wonder? It's a very good week for poker posts. I'm very happy with how things are going so far. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's another scoop up now. <laughs> I, I ordered one more than I needed to. Oh well. You never, you can never have enough scoop up nets, especially when they're so cheap at the moment. Ah, we've got a return here. So someone's address did not work so i have to um i didn't even see that return because it was just in a big stack of mail so i have to um yeah process that return at some point right so here's the last of the post that belongs to, that should belong to me so let's scissor in here and see what we got here scissor me timbers um they've used tape <laughs> why did i order so many scoop up nets do you know what it was i think i was just getting too bored of regular art scoop up nets on pokey post and i just thought i'll just flex the full arts um oh so this lovely person's also sent okay okay okay. i see what's going on here this lovely person's also sent me a bunch of freebies so um some like hollows and some commons and stuff so we'll have a we'll take a moment to look through these because they've they've gone through the effort to include these extra cards so thank you for including the um these bonus cards we've got a nice alina here i don't think they use sees much play but a nice alina well there's a few rares in here as well a nice mad party to dene and some energy cards lovely lovely so thank you to that person for including those extras. And there is also a, uh, a hollow uh, Tapu Coco as well. So last but not least, so these three bits of mail here um, were sent to me by my lovely friend Camillo, who, as you know, he loves Raticate. You've seen his Raticates and various cards in other, in other videos. So here is the Reverse Hollow Legendary Collection Raticate. He wants me to get this graded. Um, unfortunately, it's always hard to get these ones in clean condition. This one's got a slight creasing in it, so I might just get it authenticated. But beautiful reverse holo raticate from the the old the old legendary collection. Um, because of the way those legendary foils look, it's very hard to guarantee like conditioning on those. Um, so he also sent me the he also sent me a Japanese Lieutenant Surge's raticate as well. And a uh, whatever's in this one. What's in this one? Probably probably another raticate, I imagine. Oh, he's gone for a um a Japanese ratata and um the first ever raticate from Japan from the um Japanese Japanese base side thing. That's really cool. So thank you for to Camillo for those. More rats for the grading pile. And uh, yes, that's the um, that's the poker pose section of the video. But now, guys, we're going to um, take a look at our Hidden Fates booster packs. So I'm going to save a space in between the Charizard and the uh, Mewtwo, just in case we pull anything super epic. 
So let's go for the save the Charizard pack for last. A new new pack. So guys, we're going to predict the energy. What energy card is coming out of this pack? I'm going to say it's water. Have a code card. Right, one, two, three, four. It's grass. Jinx. Charmeleon. Chansey. Magikarp. It almost sounds like the poker rap when you've got and you've got Gen 1 Pokemon. Voltorb. Geodude. Pikachu! Huzzah! Reverse is Slowpoke and a regular rare Lapras. So let's hope we get a bit of luck from this Charizard Hidden Fates booster pack. So predict the energy again, guys. Um, have a code card. Let me know if you get anything epic. I'm going to go for fire. It's fighting. Lieutenant Surge. Misty. Cypher. Pika Pika. Oh, that's good luck. Jigglypuff. Ekins. Coffin, Cubone, so our reverse holo is... Oh! <laughs> wow! Yes! Oh, that's amazing! Oh my god, the, the Vaporeon to evolve our Shiny Eevee into. Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. So, I kid you not, Shiny Eevee is now up to £25. So this one, this one non... This one Eevee alone pays for the cost of the whole tin. Oh my god. That's incredible. Unfortunately, I see a bit of um, slight dink in the bottom left-hand corner, but it might still get it might still get a nine. So it's still worth getting graded, I think. Beautiful <laughs> energy evolution, shiny Eevee from Hidden Fates to um, to finish up there. So very happy with that. Make sure you um, check out the Hidden Fates tin video once this video is live, and uh, please leave a comment below. What was your favourite Pokey post this week? If you want to sell us anything, um, send us an email. All, all information is in the description. And yes, remember to subscribe to the channel. I think we should be getting very close to a thousand subscribers now. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Got to catch them all. Remember, guys, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away this beautiful Blastoise and Piplup GX Rainbow Rare card from Cosmic Eclipse. As you can see, it's an absolute beauty. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're getting very close now. And one of you lovely people will win this gorgeous card. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Gotta catch them all.